I'm a senior data scientist for the parent company of Adblock. Yes, the Chrome extension. And I'm going to talk about four reasons why the tech job market is cooked and you might be cooked with it. But also four things you can do to stand out from the crowd. Cool. Number one, the applicant to job ratio is fucked up right now. There are more people than ever doing STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, right? And there are fewer jobs than ever because we're not in a ZERP era anymore. Money is expensive. So hiring unnecessarily is a cost on your company. So you're not going to frivolously hire every single graduate just so that other people can't have them and so that you build up your talent pool and then you can nurture these people up. No, money is expensive now. You don't have the resources to go and willy-nilly hire 100 graduates where now you only actually need 10. More people than ever are completing degrees, completing STEM degrees, and they all want these six-figure tech jobs coming out of university and it's going to be a difficult battle. Number two, because so many people are graduating from STEM degrees, the average applicant quality has decreased quite significantly, to be honest. I'm currently hiring for a senior data scientist position in my company, so if you guys want to apply, there will, might be a link in the description below or whatever, I don't know. But with more people doing these degrees, the quality of the average applicant that I've personally accounted has really, really plummeted. People don't know what they're applying for. People, The universities are not teaching them the essential skills that they need to thrive in the job market right now. And it's like university is not a waste of time, but don't expect getting a degree to land you a job. That leads me on to my third point. The mindset. A degree is nothing, to be honest. It's it's the it's it's the bare minimum you can do. How you stand out is a whole different game. We'll talk about that in a bit. But the mindset cannot be I have a degree, I deserve a job. It doesn't exist anymore. You're competing with some of the best minds out there in the world. You're competing with a global job market right now because remote work is accessible and available to some companies. And it's, it's, you're not going to go to a average school and do computer science and get a 150k fang, 150k base fang offer, just because you can solve some leak code mediums and hards. It doesn't work like that anymore. And that's okay. Things have to change. Things change because it's an evolving process. And that's okay. You just have to adapt with it. Lastly, the thing you might be worried about the most, it's AI. And the thing is, AI is not going to steal your job in the short term. Like you might have heard of Devin and all this other crap. We don't have AI doing the junior roles. What AI has enabled us to do is it makes each person 10 to 50 percent more productive. Just like writing boilerplate code, writing code, like tab, 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 get through the changes, bop, bop, bop increase the pace of work now you get to do more tickets faster so now the seniors the mid-levels and the current juniors can do more tickets faster and get more work done so they can do more per unit of time and knowledge has become commoditized that's why your degree doesn't matter as well and because everything is a chat gpt away the seniors the mid-levels and the juniors the engineers the data scientists the product manager whatever all of these people they can learn what they need to learn to get the next job done like two times faster now because knowledge has been commoditized. They only need to hire more people if the amount of work that exists is greater than the capacity of their current workforce enabled with AI, right? Again, when I was high, when I was looking for jobs, I was under this mindset like, yo, let me come in, I'll learn anything, I'm so good, baby. You need to come in and hit the ground running. You're not going to be useful for the first three to six months, but you need to be able to know some of the basics and like if you have these basics down then you can be a valuable member of discussions you have the context and the intricacies of the business you're joining like it's not about getting a degree and learning more on the job it's about knowing what's included in the job and learning the context of the job in the job now so with all of that being said four things you can do to st st stand out from the crowd Okay, first things first. Look, yeah, CV-wise, LinkedIn-wise, just get your shit together. My LinkedIn is not professional at all. I don't like it to be. I don't want it to be. I don't want to be that guy. But you can, and it does work. So do it. Secondly, uh, not secondly, but the second point of this first point. Get your CV on point. What are you doing? One-page CV, nice little summary at the top. Your experience, maybe you have internships, maybe you have personal projects, whatever. Put your experience down. Put some skills you got pre-education, get on with it. None of these two to three to five page CVs, that is ridiculous, okay? 
I saw a guy with like a four page CV. Unacceptable. I don't have that time and I'm not going to read through it. It's all fake. Two, cold applying is dead. I cannot stress that enough. Cold applications are so tough to, to crack. Again, the applicant to job ratio is messed up. So there are people applying from all over the world. And this advice of don't self reject, which is good advice, but now random people <laughs> applying for the job and maybe you should self reject a little bit just because yeah dog like there's too many cvs to sift through so go through referrals go through recruiters do not be afraid to dm people on linkedin dm the world on linkedin it goes down in the dms do not cold apply dm 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 you're better off sending 50 DMs and 50 cold applications. And I'm telling you that right now, human to human connection is the most important aspect in this new world that you're entering. This new job market will be driven through human to human interaction, not from cold applications. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, three, actual good side projects. I'm gonna talk about this from a data scientist point of view, but you can you know, extrapolate to other tech careers. The quintessential, BS data science project is about the, the Titanic or something and the Boston house prices data set. If you're going to give me garbage from Kaggle, I'm going to throw your application in the bin. Um, that's it. I am a hundred percent doing that. And I think every other recruiter or hiring manager or someone in the rec recruitment process will throw that in the bin. It's garbage. It's a waste of time. Don't do that. Go use something like Appify go get the data and run some interesting analysis. You have more tools, more technologies and the capacity to learn them. Go build interesting shit that you like. Do not, do not do the same cookie cut project that was happening five years ago. Oh my God, I'm getting annoyed even thinking about it. The software engineering version of this is a to-do list. Oh my, I, 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 no more to-do lists. You can take the open AI API, you can build some interesting stuff, build a thumbnail generator, build a YouTube title generator, build a captions generator, build uh, automate YouTube videos being produced. I don't know, whatever, go do it. And the last one is know your fundamentals. The fundamentals will never die, like never die. Even if the fundamentals will never go away, the fundamentals will never die. Even if you're an engineer, even if you're a data scientist, understanding basic statistics, understanding the core concepts in engineering, understanding the trade-offs that you're making. Yeah, these are important. Every single decision you make in a production environment is a trade-off. What are you trading off? How are you trading it off? And is it the trade-off you wanna make? Every single design decision is a trade-off understand that and when you understand that and you have an idea of the fundamentals and you have an idea of like how things tie together you can be th this that that skill will take you five years into your career easily don't learn fluff for the sake of learning fluff knowledge has been commoditized it's never been easier to learn things use it use it youtube exists llms exist twitter exists books exist Notebook LM exists. So many things exist. Please go and understand the fundamentals. They will take you so far in life. Even if a new AI bot comes in and does it, all of this stuff and automates your job away, you'll need a guy that knows the fundamentals to fact check the AI. It's just going to be like that until LLM output is validated. And I don't know when that's going to happen. So at least I'll buy you some time before, you know, the world eats us. The amount of senior data scientists I've I've come across during our interview process has been horrific. Like they don't know the fundamentals. It's bad. And if you're a junior and you don't know your fundamentals, you can't get away with it anymore. You have to step your game up. And that's just how the industry is now. So good luck to you all. I wish you the best. I am not, I'm so happy I'm not in your position, but it's worth it. Yeah. If you can crack it, it's, it's a good life. There's a lot of things waiting in on the inside. So yeah, good luck guys. Peace.